Hello, you're listening to Yellow King Sound Man. Axel Rose, legendary wild man singer of Guns N' Roses and the iconic David Bowie once came to blows over a girl way back in 1989. Guitarist Slash once mentioned the fight in his 2007 New York Times bestseller called Slash. Slash and David Bowie have a long history together. Slash's mother and celebrated fashion designer Ola Hudson had been designing clothes for Bowie around the time the singer launched his 1975 record Young Americans. A recently divorced Ola started an affair with Bowie who was married to Angie Bowie at the time. Slash maintains he once walked in on his mother and Bowie naked. But that's a story for another day. Back to Axl Rose and David Bowie throwing digs over a girl in 1989. A legendary rock venue, the Cat House, was chosen by Guns N' Roses as the location for their warm-up show ahead of their support slot for the Rolling Stones. Slash recalls Bowie was at the show with his mother, Ola Hudson, who was sitting with Bowie right up at the stage when Axel started to shout at Bowie. Bowie was then forced to leave halfway through the set. Slash's mum, Ola, was dumbfounded until he informed her that Axel was angry at Bowie for supposedly hitting on his girlfriend, Irin Everly. Irin is the daughter of Don Everly from the Everly Brothers. As well as the warm-up show at the Cat House, the group also filmed a video for the track, It's So Easy, at the venue. The saucy rock video wasn't shared by Guns until 2018. In the clip, we see Erin Everly in a leather bondage gear handcuffs with a ball gag in her mouth. According to club owner, a very drunk David Bowie showed up at the video shoot. Club owner Ricky recalled that when Axel saw Bowie iron up Everly, he went mental. The two music icons then allegedly hurled fists at each other. Dangerous Minds alleges that Axel chased Bowie out of the cat house, shouting, I'm gonna kill you, Tin Man. Back in 1990, the metal mag Kerrang! journalist Mick Wall asked Rose about his supposed fight at the cat house with Bowie. Axel Rose neither confirmed nor denied he got into a physical fight with Bowie. Now, enter Mick Jagger into the story. Who had gotten wind of the punch-up, Jagger and Eric Clapton approached Axel backstage at a sound check at the LA Coliseum. This is what Axel said of the moment when Jagger and Clapton asked him if he had punched David Bowie in the face. He said, I was out doing a sound check one day when we were opening for the Rolling Stones and Mick Jagger and Eric Clapton cornered me. I'm sitting on this amp and all of a sudden they're both right there in front of me and Jagger doesn't really talk a lot, right? He's just real serious about everything. And all of a sudden he's like, so you got into a fight with Bowie, did ya? So I told him the story real quick and he and Clapton are going off about Bowie in their own little world, talking about things from years ago. They were saying that when Bowie gets drunk he turns into the devil from Bromley. Bowie's family moved to London of Bromley when he was a teenager. I mean I'm not even in this conversation, I'm just sitting there listening to them bitch about David Bowie like crazy. It was funny. As always, thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.